Hey folks, how's it going? We are about 10 days away from the Water United fight, so I guess it's time to start setting up a couple of teams. And if at all possible, see if we can farm the last couple of missing weapons. Try and get the best out of the extra drop campaign, especially when it comes to Tefnut. I don't know how much time I will actually have to play this unit and fight, but I guess I will still try and stick to mainly uh, bursts or fast setups. Because even the last unit and fight, Nightmare 150 and Nightmare 200, were far too slow with whatever I've gotten. Still, let's begin with the OTK. Oh, and one thing I need to do before setting up the OTK team is to uncap this weapon. It's the primal one, but it's going to be a lot helpful, since I can just leave it here. This way I can keep the stamina key on my magna weapon, and I can use chains on this one. So I don't have to run back and forth switching stuff. So here I can just slot in the Freyr chain and that's going to be the OTK weapon. So first I will try something without Schrodinger, see if the pups here can be enough. And as usual we'll be starting with a tree chain. Uh, how many hops does it take to cap stuff? 38 CA damage, 38 CA cap. We can go further. And below here there's got to be the Seraphic. I want to try without this one first, see if they can actually manage. But at this point Let's just try slotting in the, the Cosmos, why not? Uh, 47% CA damage, 7% CA cap. Uh, this looks a bit weird, but oh uh, well, we're just trying stuff. So. Uh, when it comes to water characters, let's see which ones are going to be the candidates for the guild war. Altair, kind of a destitute buffer. Uh, Lily, very defensive character, might still see play thanks to the 70% cut in here and the fire damage reduction. She might see some play for the Nightmare 200 if you want to full auto it, for example. Uh, EMP look fine. Awakening is 7, she's missing 1. Uh, the ring is re-rollable, you know, she might want to re-roll the earring as well. Moving on, Charlotta, uh, bonus damage on charge attack, not that bad, extra charge bar, but it's not really needed since we've got all the level 100 Eternals. Uh, EMP, she's got them, but there's no CA cap, no awakening, no ring, no earring. Next up, Lancelot Standard. Double activation for Blade Impulse. And Blade Impulse activates upon dodging. Might want to try this one out for OTK as well. I'm curious to see if it actually activates twice with the auto activation. Uh, one CA damage, no CA cap though. One awakening, rollable ring, and no earring. Moving on, Uno. I don't think I will be bringing this up to 110. Uh, not just yet, at least. I'm not really interested in the Water Eternals. It does bring a strength on Charge Attack, so it might be better than Quatre for OTK. It needs Awakenings. Yattane. Arigato. <laughs> I'm going to call it there for the EMPs, but he needs everything else. Uh, Quatre, still level 100. Nothing cool on charge attacks, so yeah, I guess we'll be using Uno for the OTK. 
He has the awakenings, he's got the EMPs, and I guess I'm going to keep the 12% skill cap here. So Siet, she's an amazing support, she brings a lot of healing, a lot of charge bar gain, not to mention AoE mirror image. Awakenings are done, EMPs are up, the ring kind of sucks, I might want to reroll this, even if 18% healing is nice. And of course, no earring. Silva, she kind of needs to click buttons in order to deal good CA damage, he's got a 10% CA cap at least with another 10 in here. Uh, Catalina, Veil Refresh and Dispel Cancel are kind of nice. Now, Yoda used to be the go-to for the OTK, because he does like 1 million extra damage in here. He's got some CA cap in here. He's going to need Awakenings, he's going to need... EMP? <laughs> Can you? He's not going to need EMP, he's just going to need Awakenings. Ingui, massive damage, switches to tough guy mode. That doesn't do anything for the OTK. I don't know, I get the feeling that Ingui might maybe see some play if there's some specific mechanics in the Metme 150 and 200. Otherwise, he's likely going to be passed over for other defensive options. Romeo should be good for OTK. Massive activates Lama Kuta and gets a self boost to attack when the spirit is in effect, so he should be alright. Uh, Awakening 7 is going to need another level there. The MPs look fine. Skill cap, uh, I guess it's okay. And double attack rate in here. So I will likely want to re-roll the earring. Bane should have something interesting. Activates the next heroic beat twice. And heroic beat activates when A4 uses a special attack. Uh, EMPs are okay. Oh, he's even got 10% CA cap. Stamina and dodge. I might want to re-roll this. Uh, let's see. N. Unworldly, with our damage to a foe, activates anti-collision, dispel cancel to all allies. Uh, this is just defense and armored, and she can only CA at 200% bar, so the constant dispel cancels, armored, and the boost to defense might be really nice for the longer fights, the 150 and 200. Plus, she's about to get a 5 star, so if there's anyone who I'm likely going to slime for later fights, it's going to be her. And she needs everything. And then we've got Doggo. She's ringed at least. And she's got a 20% boost to CA cap on top of a 5% damage cap in here. I might want to try and reroll this 5 supplemental damage, but I'm not even sure what else can come out of there. Uh, double, triple, elemental attack up, up to 22%, which is really nice. Stamina up to plus 12, supplemental damage, which is also nice. Crit, might use more crit. Or the counters. So this should be stamina at 12% attack. So I guess it's a 14% stamina attack when you go up to plus 12. Uh, so yeah, either supplemental damage or elemental attack or stamina might be the good ones. So maybe, maybe see if I can reroll the ring since she doesn't really do that much multi-hit for the supplemental damage to work. Alicia uh, likely going to get a backline slot because of this. But in order to use this, she doesn't really need much, just skill cap. Uh, no awakening, no EMPs. She's got two skill cap nodes to get. Oh, she needs basically everything. Now, these two. Unworldly damage to a foe, and they basically don't care about your grid. If I remember correctly, from the last guild war, they basically always deal the same 5.2 million damage or something. And this should be... Oh! 
Remember when awakenings were stuck to three? Genki, bye. Uh, Storm, don't remember her doing much. Burn effect, hit to attack and defense. Activates dual sword when A4 uses a special attack. Her damage, bonus damage on burn. Milleur and Salilao, they are a normal attack character. Uh, triple attack will in effect attack three times each turn. Plus extra damage and echo. I remember there was some noise around them. Uh, they might not be that bad for some sort of burst setup, but you can't really use this with Luchador. So they need to actually attack. I'm curious to try them. Summer Lucio. Uh, Holy Pridas is bringing a very, very large echo here, mostly for Uno or Zeta, but yeah, he's going to be used mainly for Burst. Mirin. You can counter one Mikan Orange. EMP look fine, she's waiting for extra skill. Awakening is 8, that's fine. 8% CA cap I'm going to keep, 30% crit I'm also going to keep, so she needs nothing in here. Nice and ready, should I decide to use her. Tanjiro is a bit of a meme character, especially because of this passive, but this passive is actually pretty good. Now, Zeta, unworldly water damage to a foe, activates Spear of Harvest. Jesus. I don't think she's going to need this, but even this looks a bit overkill. So I'm going to say that she's fine EMP wise, no need for the awakening. Might need the ring and earring though. Monkey, bonus water damage to FO with Mitsurazu, but she needs a button here. And she's mostly suited for longer fights, so again, 150 to 100. Uh, she should have everything she needs though. Again, 15 out of 18, waiting for this one. No extra CA cap, but I'm going to keep the crits in here. Mental damage is a little bit meh, especially since she doesn't have multi-hits. Uh, Poseidon, he's mostly for longer fights. Awakening is fine, EMP, fine. 16 out of 18, and again he needs the extra EMP. I need to reroll this and I need to reroll this. Summer Shalem. Passive water damage, delay, but she can do it twice. The damage and CA cap based on the number of foes debuffs, but the foe needs to have 10 debuffs in order for her to do this twice, so kind of unlikely against the X plus. Uh, she might be alright for the later fights since she can get to spam delays, which leaves us with the last character, Grand Lancelot. Unworldly with her damage, raises Glaciate by 2 and gives Echo to Lancelot. And he also gets to attack twice each turn, so he's going to do a charge attack plus a normal attack, double attack. Uh, awakening is fine, EMPs look Fine, 2% CA damage is rerollable, and triple attack rate is kind of useless, so this needs to be rerolled as well. Uh, now, who do we start fixing first? We got a crap ton of earrings to set, and we only have 10, but we've got plenty of rings in here. Uh, also, on top of these characters, I'm kind of about to spark, and there's a little bit of hope uh, to get Clarice and uh, Summer Darkshan. Clarice alone should be getting plenty of love since she's kind of an assassin, so I want to have some rings and earrings left over for her. Uh, for now, for the OTK, it looks like it will be Uno plus Grand Lancelot plus Zera. So this should be my OTK. And for longer fights, uh, likely be Societ. Doggo has to be in there somewhere. And I want to fix N up. 
I uh, kind of need to fix Poseidon, Samrandira. And when it comes to options, I don't know. Uh, what about Burst? Burst is still going to be Uno, Zeta and Summer Lucio if I don't get uh, Clarice. These should be all the characters that are going to run around this guild war with other possible options like Vayne maybe for OTK. <laughs> どうよ、絶好調でしょ私だけのものじゃないから。さらなる加護を約束しよう。さらなる加護を約束しよう。遅い。遅い。シリーズ 6%。No one has anything else. Oh, that's weird. That's something I was not expecting. But I guess I'm on a bit of a joke grid. 20 million out of everything with 7.3 and 7.1. Uno dealing this little is really, really weird. And there's really no changing characters. Not like this, at least. So, just got to change the grid. Guess there's too much Magna, too. I don't think the I don't think going for crits is the play here. But even just replacing this with the Columbus. Yeah, I can I get the supplemental, I don't get the boost to attack. Is it better or worse? The medium is very similar. Alright, without the attack buff on the Columbus, it's worse. Uh, since we were like 5% short. Maybe the chain burst damage from here can actually do something. I guess not. I wanted to try without, but I guess if Uno, Grand Lancelot and Zeta can't cut it, then yeah, I'm afraid I kind of have to. This was painful, because all of the Super Ultimate Bahamuts I needed I cleared off of Twitter with a really horrible setup, but I guess it's done, so... Uh, before that though, let's just go with the good old one here. Uh, do we want to keep all this CA and CA cap? We're not even going overboard. 47 damage, 61 cap, and 20% special cap. The real question is if we actually reach uh, reach all that cap, or if we maybe are missing some other modifiers. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that looks fine then. Ah, uh, they don't even need the extra damage from Lisha. And this is without the Ultima too. Uh, 22.3 and there's another about million damage from the backline. And they go up to 3.5, 8.1 and 8.3. Jesus Zeta. Still Uno dealing this little damage is really weird. Is there something missing here? I don't think it's the strength buff because I've got the frayer chain. You want one more of these? Yep, done it. Maybe two. This seems excessive. <laughs> like he's only 100, he's not 150, so I'm not expecting him to deal 5 million CA damage like the, the others. But yeah, 3.8, we're getting there. Ah, oh, don't tell me they can mess up with crits. Ah, oh, they can mess up with crits. So this is actually not consistent. Awesome. Hey, I guess we're back to, to kill it. Point five. Point eight, eight point four, about the same amount of damage as before. But I need multiple runs in here. If this ends up being consistent, I don't know what else to do. It's in point, 3% left. I guess I need to swap one of the pups in here, take off the skill cap and use a chain burst cap. Maybe it's actually the Ultima Katana screwing me over? I'm not running Katana characters basically, so no one gets the... Yeah, no one gets the attack buff from there. It was getting close to consistent at least. 8.4, 7.5. It's about the same amount of damage. Likely due to the 15% uh, CA cap from the ultimate Katana. Twenty-two million, but we didn't get the nuke from her. I uh, need to swap this one out. Okay, this should be more stable. I don't think we're going to see that big of a difference, but still. They're actually failing. Fantastic. Counters? No counters. There we go. Uh, they still have plus marks. I didn't touch anything. I just changed skill cap to CA cap. Yeah, no, there we go. Just needed one of the two to actually crit. 
やるじゃない。8.7, And the thing is that even if I wanted to go back and try the others, but if we need close to 9 million damage, yeah, there's really no one else that can do it. The closest one is Vampy at 7.3 million, but even trying to swap one of these two out for Vampy. Is just going to set me up for failure. Are there other characters that can cover this role? Because I don't think we can get higher than this. 8.7 is insane. I think Water got a couple of interesting toys, but like Clarice is an assassin. Gwyn, I don't remember what she does. Uh, Cassius is just skill damage. Cupitan is just skill damage. Summer John shouldn't die, that's about it. But yeah, like not even Vane can keep up. So Clarice is just massive. Defense down, deluge crest. But yeah, she's just an assassin. Win, massive and plain based on Gwyn's HP. Up to 1.2 million, which is not that bad, but again, only one CA cap. Ah, this is nice. 30% boost to CA damage, 10% boost to CA cap for gun specialty allies. Too bad we don't run them. So, no, I'm afraid when it comes to the X+, plus, if you want to go for 3 chains, these are the best characters available. And when it comes to weapons though, because, yeah, 2 Schrodingers are nice, but I also want to see what else is there. Oh, we'll admit it is. Boost to attack based on how many melee weapons are equipped, supplement water light skill damage based on how low their HP is. Maybe I might want to try and go for one in time for the guild war. Is it might be alright for the longer fights where you actually take damage. You can potentially use two. It's just that there's no space for two since you end up missing on crit. And you will likely still want the supplemental from the one those spears. And maybe one might be okay. Problem is that it's a militis weapon, so they're very very hard to be dropped. Uh, Granny and Joculator. Is this where I'm farming? Yeah, this is where I'm farming right now. Hoping to get ancient Oberon's AXs, but I haven't been lucky yet. I don't think I care too much about the weapons from Tefnut, but I guess this week I'll I'll just lock myself into our care room and try and get at least one Wilhelm Militis as well as as many ancient Oberons with the X skills as possible. So with the EX done, I don't think I'm going to touch anything other than this. But I might need auto cap. Oh no, the auto cap is on the astral. Uh, burst setups might try with Luchador. Might try with. Uh, no one really gets double strike on their own, except for staff classes. A staff class can give double strike to the entire team. Uh, for now, let's set up something for Lucha. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing charge attacks unless you want the supplemental damage and the boost to normal cap from here. Okay, Echo on the fourth slot. So when it comes to burst, I think Uno needs to be in there. I don't have Clarice yet. I'll be sparking. Hopefully I can get her. So it's going to be Uno, Summer Lucio, and Zeta for now. But I also want to try Poseidon. I need to see whom I want to give the Echo to, if or, or Uno. Uh, when it comes to the grid though, uh, mostly I'm concerned about the Nightman 95. Because the Nightman 90 I'd never really run. この
お客様を迎えましょう木陰で涼むとしましょうかほぼ一体せっかいになりなさいかかってきなさいついてこられるさっさっとらくらえくらえその身でもって知るがいい Okay, one burst with Zeta in the fourth slot, that's 67 million and 29 million damage from her. お客様を迎えましょう木陰で涼むとしましょうかはいになりなさいかかってきなさい<笑>ついてこられるほぼ一体刹那のひらめきさはっくらっとれてほらっよくよくよさっくらってくらっとれとれとれほらっはっオッケー、私も続く。Yeah, it's seventy-six million. It's ten million more. Right? Yeah, Uno needs to stay here. Okay, for seventy-six millions, still nowhere near enough. A、uh, nightmare ninety-five.、Uh, also, yeah, if I don't get Clarice, this is likely going to stay as my go-to team. For the entire guild war. Yes,、yeah, so、on one side, I'm just going to burst my own raids. On the other, I'm going to try and join my crewmates' raid to crewmates' raids to burst those too. Now, in order to test damage, we're going to go against Wilnas, who has the same 15 defense value as the Nightman 95. The main difference is that he's got 165 million HP compared to 131 of the Guild War boss. So there's a 30 million HP difference here, which means in order to have a successful Nightmare 95, we've got to bring this thing down to about 20%. はしゃぎすぎてはいけませんよ。はっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっは And Bob's main summon doesn't seem to be able to cut it. I'm afraid I'm going to need killing here. <laughs> First, let's try with the Europa Fist and a little bit more raw power from the Bahamut gun. ここかげで涼むとしましょうかはいになりなさいかかってきなさい<笑>ついてこられるほぼ一体刹那の気がかさせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせてせ Uh, assassins from Zeta and 2.1 million from Uno. Paradise Lost. 
お飲み物はいかがでしょう。お客様を迎えましょう。はい、なりなさい。かかってきなさい。ついてこられる。ここが攻め時。ラテン解剖。はしゃぎすぎてはいけませんよ。木陰で涼むとしましょうか。ほぼ一体。これぞ潔癖の掃除術。よっさ。はっ。くらで。それ。ほらほらほらしたよ。美しき世界。我に祝福を。木陰で涼むとしましょうか。はいなりなさい。か
don't really have other options, don't really have anything that can work from the backline. I guess this is going to be my burst setup, at least until I can get my hands on some Clarisse. For the higher levels, uh, for the rest I think I just want to go with the... with something standard. Uh, Poseidon is a bit of an odd of an oddball in here since he doesn't do that much CA damage. But yeah, no, I think I'll just keep this if I want if I feel like trying to pull out of the later stages. Alright then I guess that's really going to be it for me for the moment. As always, thanks a lot for watching, good luck for the guild door, and see you guys soon. Ciao!